Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. It's been a pretty good while since we've put a good video on. We have been so busy here lately. So today I'm going to show y'all how I milk my cows and what I do with the abundance of milk that they give me. Now I've got two milk cows. They both get equal amounts of feed. I give Chloe two scoops and I give Sadie two scoops as well. This is their milk time treat and they love it. I lead one of them up into my handy dandy milk install and I get ready to lock their head in place so she can't back back out on me. Next, I just use a good rope and I tie one leg back. This is just gonna keep her from kicking me and hurting me. She doesn't kick very often, but every once in a while she'll get in a good mood to try to kick me. And this has saved my arm a couple times, I know. I've noticed that they dance around and kick a lot more often when they're in heat. Now after I get her all locked in and tied up, I get my clean washing water ready. Now all this is, is just hot water and just a little bit of dish soap. I scrub her down as good as I can get her. And I clean the ends of her teats out, the ends of her udders, make sure there's no dirt or anything. I don't want that falling in my milk. After she's squeaky clean, I bring out the olive oil a little bit goes a long ways. I lather it in and uh, slap it on there and she's ready to milk. Before I really start milking, I take a few squirts of each udder. That first little bit of milk probably has more bacteria in it than the rest of it and I don't want to drink that. All right, enough playing. Let's get to work. Now I just start milking away until she's empty. I miss the bucket a lot, as you can tell. I make sure to milk all four quarters out. I don't leave anything behind. I strip her teats. No milk left behind. When I'm done milking, I untie her and I spread a little bit of hay out on the ramp that leads up to the milking stall. It gets a little slick sometimes and I really don't want her to fall and get hurt. When Chloe backs on out, I lead her to a separate part of her pen and I give her an extra snack and she'll wait there until I get done milking the second cow. This is Sadie. I've only had her for about a week. She's an auction cow. It's not the best idea to buy your milk cow from the auction barn because you don't know anything about the animal. Sadie Girl has a pretty rough case of mastitis that we're working on. We also had to train her to the milk stall. And to be honest, I don't think she had ever been hand milked. But I don't know because I bought her from an auction like you're not supposed to. So we're just a work in progress but we're gonna make it work. I have to make sure to get Sadie locked in real good and I do tie her up pretty tight. The quarter that has mastitis 
is the front left quarter. It doesn't look very bad, but it is rock hard. Each milking time, I make sure to clean it and massage it really good, and that seems to be helping a lot. I oil Sadie up, and I get to milking. Sadie is still a little bit steppy, but she's learning. Every day is just a little bit better with her. Because Sadie was an auction cow, I do not drink her milk. I don't know what she may have been treated with, with her previous owner, and I don't want to risk drinking something that's potentially going to hurt me. But I do feed Sadie's milk to our bottle calves. And so far, there's not been any problems. When Sadie is all done, it's the same thing with her as it is Chloe, but I don't have another cow to milk. I'm just teaching her that when she's done, it's time for her to back out. With Sadie, I have to put an old pallet up and use it as a gate because she wants to come and try to eat food where I have been milking. Like I said, Sadie's a work in progress, so sometimes I have to help her remember what she's supposed to do next, but she'll get it. When Sadie is done, it's time to get to work on the bottle calves. I have to prepare their big old bottles. I just take the milk that I had just milked and use a big old funnel and pour it down into the bottles. Each of our calves get between four and six pints of milk twice a day. And that leaves my family with roughly a gallon of milk a day. And that does us perfect. Here they are, patiently awaiting their breakfast. Ain't they cute? After the cows have been milked and the babies have been fed, then it's time for me to go clean up. I just sweep everything away, put all my stuff up, and get it ready for tonight's milking. Thanks for coming by to hang out with me today. I sure appreciate it.